I want to talk to you, sir, a little about the tribunalization. There is a positive side of it that it was an attempt to create specialized courts, so to speak, which had some expertise in dealing with certain cases. We saw some success there, in fact, quite a lot of success. Unfortunately, today we have a situation where people are, and eminent people are questioning this entire thing simply because you A, have some of these tribunals which are totally unmanned, or B, some are being run totally by bureaucrats. Even that judicial appointee is not there and the benches are still functioning. What is your view? That is it a good principle that has been badly handled and is therefore being questioned to say why does it exist in the first place? It is a good principle which has been badly handled. I am not one of those who thinks that tribunalization is bad or wrong and that everything should be in the hands of judges. Subjects today are so complex. I will give you two or three examples. Telecom, mm. environment, securities, market, tax. That's right. Yeah. In all these situations, you need an expert. Now, the solution to the ills which we are presently seeing is to ensure that appointments are made strictly on the basis of merit and competence that these appointments whether from the judicial side or from the bureaucratic side are not treated as sinecures where sifarish can make any difference when you talk of vacancies in positions in the tribunals, these vacancies are there in the judiciary also. Why talk only of tribunals? And can you blame the government only for these vacancies? We need to know more facts. It's possible that names have not come from the judiciary because very often for appointments to positions in the tribunal of judges, it is the judiciary which needs to recommend. Very often it's the nominee of the Chief Justice of India or a committee chaired by the Chief Justice of India. So we need to look at those facts before we come to a conclusion on who is responsible for these vacancies. My final question, are you disappointed with the way things are going in this country, especially when we talk about the whole political, judicial, or, or would you just say it's an interesting time, which will continue for some more time till we learn the lessons? I think it's an interesting time. It's a time when we need to learn. I wouldn't throw up my hands in despair. I'm not a pessimist and I do feel things can't get any worse than this. And after this, I think there will be significant improvements, but we have to live through these trying times. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Mr. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>